So in this video I just want to show you how to export backscatter or secondary electron images without the spectral locations on. It's useful to have a copy of your images with both the spectral locations shown and a blank image without the spectral locations that you can then subsequently annotate however you wish. To turn off the spectral locations you need to right click on the image, go to show acquisition areas and select show none. We then want to make sure that we're exporting at the correct resolution so you right click on the image to determine what the resolution of that image is. Details 1024 pixels by 768 pixels. We then go to right click export settings to make sure that the pixel resolution is correct in the settings which it is in this case. We turn off keep aspect ratio, we don't want that selected. Um, we do want a scale bar. It's quite useful to just save as, as a test to, just to save the um, image settings. And then we can then go to batch export. We select images, TIFFs, we use the export settings that we've just just input, and we select all of the different sites. Select the folder you'd like to save the images to. Sometimes the start process button is grayed out. Just deselect the image type and reselect TIFF, and then press start. And you can see it cycles through. If we look in the folder, our test has no spectra locations on. The batch export has spectra locations on. It hasn't done exactly what we've told it to. So to get around this, we need to delve a little bit deeper into the software. If we go back to Aztec, close the export batch export screen, we can go to Tools, Preferences, and Reports. And in there, you can see it says show acquisition areas in reports. We want to turn that off, basically, so we go from showing all to show none. We say OK. And then if we right-click on the sample again that we want to batch export, batch export, images, TIFFs, select all of the different sites. We'll have it in the same folder. Uh, press start. It's going to warn me that it's going to write over the original files. That's fine because they have the spectral locations on anyway. Say OK. So that's now done. If we go and check in Windows Explorer, we can see that now the spectral locations are turned off. So that's what we wanted. Uh, we can now batch export all of our images, uh, safe in the knowledge that the spectral locations won't show up.